Okay, so first thing you want to do is right click, go into sounds, create a sound cue, I'm going to call it footstep concrete. Open that up and then just drag in all the, the WAV files that you want to be included in the footsteps. And then drag out, type a random node, add a bunch of inputs, connect them all, and then connect the random node to the output here. Finally, we want to override attenuation, and it's probably okay as default like that. So if you play it, it works. Okay, so go to your character. You should have, by default, something like this. So you have your, your movement, your mouse looking, and jumping. So first thing, we're going to need a function. Call it footstep trace. And we're gonna need another one. Try footstep. So in footstep trace, let's drag out a sphere trace by channel. In start, we're going to put get actor location. So this will make it obviously trace from the self actor, which is the character of course. And the end, we want to trace to the same location but lower, so the floor. Get actor location will start from the actor's uh, or the character's half height. So if we go drag capsule component and get capsule half height and we're also going to need get capsule radius and yeah make sure it says scaled not unscaled so if get after location starts in the middle of the character this is this float is the variable for half the character's height. So all we have to do now is subtract that, and this should now go to the floor. We want radius there, and then right click the end node here, the end input. So this is Z, goes into Z, and then just connect Y and X. Um, and then all we need to do is verify the hit. So if there is ground beneath us, or no, well, we just have to return. So type return and return that uh, boolean and we'll name it success. Okay, that's that one. Then go into the try footstep function. And we're gonna call footstep trace branch. So meaning if there is ground beneath the character, we will play a sound. At location, location is get actor location. And this of course is the, the queue we created. Okay, now go into event graph. We need to create a timeline. I'll call it footstep timeline. And double click it to open it. 
how to track for event track well, footstep so I'll make this 0 0.5 right click add a key set the time to the end of here the end of the track so 0 0.5 so every half a second it'll send a signal to uh, play a footstep sound or to try to. It'll check if there's ground, and if there is ground beneath you, it'll play the sound. And then make sure to click this loop button so it continues and doesn't just stop. Okay, now we have this footstep output here, so we can drag from that, and we can just call our function try footstep. So now we need to hook it up with our movement, because we don't want this to just keep playing, or to not play at all. We need to tell Unreal when to actually play this timeline. So we'll drag from here, branch. So if our velocity is above zero, we get the timeline, footstep timeline, and we play it. Play it forward. If it's false, We stop. Okay, Derek from there, stop. And for move right, just put it in the same one. So now it should basically work. Let's see. Okay, well there you go. And if you want to go a bit extra, you can call this event on landed and do the same thing. Just copy that. So every time uh, coming off a ledge or jumping, once you land, it'll play a footstep sound. And you can pick whatever other sound you want to. Because this, this event already, it requires that you've already hit the ground and like you've landed. So you don't need any more conditions to it technically. So you could just straight up play a sound. So I want to go back to footstep trace. There is a, a function, switch on movement mode. So basically, you could just use this, and let's say you drag it here, and only if you're walking, so not falling or swimming or flying, then, only then it will play the footstep. But using the line trace or the sphere trace, it leaves the opportunity open for physical material. Well, I don't think any came with this. But you could use physical material. The The footstep sound would vary based on the physical material, because this is a, a, actually gathered that information for you. Something the movement mode cannot do. So we could get into all the, the physical materials for dirt, sand, whatever, and how to uh, sort those in the engine and have like, like an array with all the sounds and the corresponding materials. So leave a comment on this video. Let me know if I should take this further. That being said, for now I will leave it here. Thanks for watching.